Hi everybody. Um, as you know, last year, me and a couple of my friends did a a build where we build the same kit and everybody does their same does a different take on the same kit, but everybody takes their own take on it um, for Father's Day. This year, we decided it's going to be the Gremlin. Um, we all got our kits about two weeks ago. And I've been looking at it, and I decided I'm going to do a drag car. This will be my first time doing it. A drag car, I mostly do low riders. And I ordered some stuff from uh, Chip at Extreme Scale Detail the other day. Um, so I'm waiting for it to come in. And I've got some stuff cut up on it. And this spot where the uh, stance I'm going to uh, try to do right now. Um, but I ordered the blown 572 motor for it. But I'm going to try to do the stance like this. Um, I'm going to tub it out and try to get it to sit probably about like this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I guess that didn't help much. But it's going to be nice and low. Um, so hopefully I can pull it off. And the way the, the kit's molded, I was going to try to, to cut the doors open on it. But but way it's molded, I I don't know if I can, but I'm I'm really gonna try to do it. Um, that and I'm gonna try to do flip front end on it, and just really kind of push myself to, on this, and just I gotta try to find some wheels for it because I really don't care for the one the ones that I've got. Um, so this ought to be an interesting build, but I've got you know. Right around oh, <coughs> 10 months to get it done, so I got right around a year, just shy of a year to get it done. And my other update on this uh, video um, is uh, the caddy that I've been painting. Um, I've got it candied and uh, I know I said I was going to do more on the uh, paint techniques, but I've been kind of going kind of slow. You know, I get, did this uh, 56 Ford pickup that I was doing, and this was supposed to be in between doing the, the paint work on this caddy and um, for October, uh, but I promise I'll get back on it. Um, I want to do some marbleizing where it's black, um, and do some gold leaf. Um, I just have doing it 56 consumed all my time. Um, hopefully, you guys can see the, the color on it. It's tangerine over pagan gold. Um, it's wet sanded down so it's not real glossy. Um, the trunk hasn't been wet sanded down yet, so I guess you can see a little bit of the, the shine on it. Um, but that's where I'm at on that. So hopefully I can get it masked down and back on the, the painting tips for you guys. Um, once I get some stuff rolling, I've got started doing the, uh, frame rails and stuff on the Gremlin the other day. I wasn't happy with it, so I tore it apart. Um, <coughs> I'm just waiting for some stuff come in the mail for the Gremlin and some other parts to come in the mail. But I just trying to find wheels, boy. It's trying to find drag stars. 
uh, just can't find them anymore without having to spend $30 on a whole kit or slot car wheels that are $30 and so and uh, and I found this the other day when I was going through some old stuff I was going to do a galaxy kit um, the long um, tag along fifth wheel kit and when I was ended up selling it so I might try to do a uh, another the small one in behind a dually it was going to be a shop type uh, um, trailer so I might try to do it my hobby shop's got the short uh, tag along single car hauler so I might try to do it again um, as a small one hopefully I can get the my buddy to print off the stuff and I'll paint it but I thought it'd be kind of cool to do it as my banner as a, my YouTube uh, channel so we'll see if he'll pr print the stuff uh, so I can paint it all up if not I oh well <laughs> I know he's real busy right now doing customer stuff um, see if he'll cut me a deal with the vinyl um, I don't know if he can even do it that small for that small trailer but <clears throat> um, so hopefully with the gremlin I can uh, get it to sit that low and and uh, with the headers and everything if not they might be rerouted out the fenders which might be something cool f um, I just thought it'd be cool to do the front flip front end and with the opening the doors and but the way they've got it molded I don't know if it's possible to even do it I might have to just leave them shut but uh that's where I'm at on them two kits and uh Hopefully I can get back on doing the tips, uh, painting tips for everybody. Everybody seems to kind of like them. I got a little touch up I got to do on the hood. Um, it pulled the paint up just on one little spot. Um, it went straight down to the silver. Um, outside the black I did silver and then the peg and gold. For some reason it pulled up the silver so I've got to re-mask it and uh, do the tangerine and then I should be good to go <coughs> other than that it's flawless uh, and then once I do the marbleizing I want to do a little bit of gold leaf and then I should be good to go I want to do some patterns and gold leaf um, so that's my update for that. Once I get this, the stuff from uh, Chip and Lisa from Extreme Detail, I'll uh, do an update and uh, start. By then, I should have the uh, back half of the frame done and uh, on the Gremlin, and uh, we'll I'll do a video on that let you know how that looks and then we'll be op starting opening the doors and stuff and we'll let you know how that looks and like I said I'm gonna take my time with it I got you know right around 10 months and I want to cut this the inner fender wheels out so when I do the flip it's open so you see the the 572 so it's just bare and I want to make you know something for the if, if anybody's built the scrambling it's got the axle goes through and I want to eliminate that make my own housing so it holds the wheels so with that everybody have a good day and happy building